In this short video, we'll see how to set up a web folder for your Blackboard course. In your course, go to the control panel and choose the drop down for files and click on the name of the course. This brings up your central storage area, your course files, for this Blackboard course. And we've seen previously how to upload multiple files to this area and how to uh, delete files and so on. What we're going to do here is go up to the Set Up Web Folder option, which will open up a new browser window, in which case we can copy the current web address, the address for the Blackboard course. Following the instructions here, we're going to open up our computer in Windows 7, and this similar instructions for other uh, operating systems. Right-click and choose to add a, no, a network location. Follow the steps of the wizard and paste in the URL that we've copied from Blackboard. Click Next and give it a meaningful name. Over here on the left you can see I have three courses already set up and I've just used BB, BB9 and in this case it's my test course. So give it a meaningful name, but keep it relatively short so that it's easy to distinguish between your different courses. Click Next, and I'm going to just finish there. Notice that in your computer, and I'm just going to close this and open up Windows Explorer, and the same in Windows Explorer, you have your Blackboard courses, and in this case, if I click on the test course, it opens up the section with the files as are in the course file section in my Blackboard course. I can open up a file from here and edit it. So here it will ask me for my password but it remembers it. It's the username and password for your Blackboard account. And I can edit this so if I make any update to a Word document or any other document that can be edited and if I save this and close it then the link in Blackboard will be to this updated file. So it makes it very easy for you to update files. You can use the features of Windows Explorer to rename files, create folders, copy files in, delete files, and all of this would be reflected back in Blackboard in your file storage area. Okay, that's it.